Hey there, it's Elliot. So, you know the annoying iPhone lock to owner message, or as some call it, the iCloud activation lock? Yeah, it's a headache, especially when you're all excited to set up your device and bam, you're stopped in your tracks. I've been there. And it feels like the universe is playing a cruel joke on you, doesn't it? Well, worry not. Today, I've got a game-changing video lined up for you. We're diving deep into multiple ways to kick that pesky lock message to the curb. Legally, of course. And guess what? These little life hacks are not just for iPhones. They work for iPads and Apple Watches too. So buckle up and get ready to take notes because unlocking the full potential of your Apple device is just a few tricks away. Let's dive in and tackle this together. Hey, just a quick heads up. This info is only for those who actually own their device and just forgot their access details. We're all about playing fair and square here, so we're not supporting anything illegal like messing with stolen devices. Let's keep things respectful and within the rules, all right? Our video is all good with YouTube's guidelines and community standards. All right, diving straight into the services that are going to be your best buds and dealing with the iPhone locked to owner message. Ever heard of Locked to Owner, iUnlock app, Safe Unlocks, and Unlock Here's AI-powered unlocking web app? These tools are pretty much the superheroes of unlocking your device. They come in really handy for situations like, let's say you bought a secondhand iPhone and it turns out it's locked. A real bummer, right? Now, I'm not here to throw ads at you, just sharing some cool tools that could be your lifeline. These services have made it to the top of the list because they've been real game changers for a lot of users. Oh, and here's a fun fact. Unlock here uses some awesome AI power in their web app, which feels like having a tech genius right by your side. But don't worry, we'll get into the nitty gritty of how to use it in the next part. Remember, this is all about education and helping each other out, so consider these options as friendly advice. Can't wait to show you how these tools work in action, so stay tuned for the deep dive in the next segment. One essential thing to know is that these unlocking services primarily work in first world countries, but don't worry if you can't access them or prefer not to use them. We've got something special for you. We offer 250 unlocks every week exclusively for our amazing viewers. Want in? It's super easy. Just hit the like button on this video, smash that subscribe button, and drop a comment below. In your comment, make sure to include your device's model, like iPhone 8, the IMEI number, and don't forget to mention your country. And that's it you're automatically entered as soon as you complete these steps. Good luck. All right, uh, let's dive into unlocking your device using unlockhere.com. This is a super helpful AI assistant powered web app that's here to make your unlocking process a breeze. So first things first, head over to unlockhere.com on your browser. Whether you're using a phone or computer, it's all good. Meet Nifty, your friendly AI bot on the site. Just let Nifty know you need an iCloud unlock by clicking on activation lock. You'll then have the option to select your device. It could be an iPhone, iPad, or even an Apple Watch. Now it's time to find and enter your IMEI or serial number. If you've got an iPhone, you're looking for an IMEI. For iPads and Apple Watches, it varies. If they have a SIM card slot or cellular capacity, use the IMEI. Otherwise, you'll use the serial number. If you're wondering where to find this, just press the sleep button on your lock device, tap it again, and hit the I at the bottom right to see your device info. And there you have it. With that information in hand, input that here to proceed with the process. Next up, you'll enter some basic info to link the order to your account. Make sure it's the real deal so that you can receive your order confirmation. Now ensure you tick the box to agree to the terms. And please, only move forward if you're not trying to unlock a stolen device. Before you continue, make sure to click I'm not a robot and solve this quick CAPTCHA. After that, hit start process and bam, you're on your way. Heads up, check your email, including that sneaky spam or junk folder for a confirmation code. Once you've got it, grab that confirmation code, hop back to unlock here and enter the code. Then shortly prove you're not a robot and don't miss to tap the button to validate info. And just like that, the unlocking magic begins. As you can see here, we swipe up to see the iPhone locked to owner page. In this part, it really takes time and patience. We wait for the unlock process to activate the phone. And as you can see, we swipe left and wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Don't worry, it will be worth the wait. You will enjoy your phone once again, once it's finally unlocked. So we wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Patience is the key here. And voila. In this part, let's skip all the setup. Don't worry, you can go back to them later on. Make sure to check the terms and conditions 
and skip the next steps and just set it all up later on. And there you have it. It says, welcome to iPhone. Now go to settings and create your own Apple ID. Tap forget password or don't have Apple ID to create a new one. And here just add your personal details to continue. And here's a shortcut to check your device info, making sure that this is legit. Great, your device is now fully unlocked and ready to use. All right, let's explore some other ways to remove that lock from your device. One method is getting in touch with Apple support. Now this might sound a bit formal, but it's pretty straightforward. What you need to have with you is the original invoice of your device. This invoice is like a golden ticket, proving that you're the rightful owner. So you just reach out to Apple support, show them this invoice, and they can help remove the lock from your device. It's like having a master key. Another method you can try is resetting the Apple ID on Apple's website. This is like doing a password reset, but for your device. You go to the Apple ID account page on the Apple website. Here, you'll find options to manage and recover your account. Choose the option to reset your Apple ID or password and follow the on-screen instructions. It's kind of like giving your device a fresh start and it can help remove any locks or restrictions that were bugging you. So those are two more ways to get that lock off your device. Here's another tool in your unlocking arsenal, iCloud Unlock Software. It's pretty handy for sorting out the lock issue, but a heads up, you're going to need a Windows computer to make this work and that might not be something everyone has access to. So what does this software do? It helps unlock your device, but choosing the right one is crucial. There are heaps of them out there, but honestly, not all of them do the trick. And here's a word of caution, be eagle-eyed for malware. Downloading stuff can sometimes bring along unwanted cyber trouble. If the idea of downloading software feels a bit risky, there are safer avenues like online services. Platforms like Unlock Here or Safe Unlocks are solid picks. Why? because they operate online, meaning you won't have to download anything, making the whole process smoother and more secure. So consider what works best for you and we'll continue unpacking more helpful info in the next part. This method is especially handy if the seller of the device is cooperative and responsive. This approach is all about getting your device free from the previous owner's iCloud. Ask the seller to hop onto iCloud.com and have them log in with their iCloud details. Simple so far, right? Next, they'll want to click on Find iPhone. This is where they can pinpoint the device that's stuck with the iPhone lock to owner issue. Once they've selected the device, they'll see an option to erase. Clicking this is like giving the device a fresh start. It'll reset the gadget, wiping the slate clean. But wait, there's one more step. To really make sure the device is free and clear, the seller should click on Remove from Account. Doing this makes sure the device isn't tied to their account anymore paving the way for you to use it without any hitches. So if the seller is around to help, this method can really do wonders in getting your iPhone back in action. That's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We hope that these methods will help you unlock your phone.